Hello, my name is Megan and this is Hobby Talk where I talk about my hobbies. Um, I'm, my primary hobby is cross stitching so technically this is a floss tube. I do have other hobbies that I maybe would would like to talk about but the last time I filmed a full video with all of my hobbies it was like 45 minutes and I was like nobody has the time to listen to me rattle on for 45 minutes. Um, but I also do like to journal and um, I am it's not a hobby but I'm a, I'm addicted to um, subscription boxes so I guess you know that's what I spend my time and money on <laughs> so I guess that's a hobby. Um, I am in a brighter location this month after the fiasco of is this light beam natural light or is it artificial light I decided let's just sit up here in all natural light and see if a that helps my filming quality and B um, I just you know wanted to have some natural light um, last month I jumped right into talking about cross stitches that I had finished since I talked to you guys in 2019 and I realized that I didn't even sit down and give you a life update so I will it's not big it's small when I talked to you guys, when I talked to you in 2019, we had a cat and a dog, um, Snickers and Zoe, and since then both have passed away. Snickers was, Snickers was the cat. She was, she had to be like 16, 17. She was, uh, yeah, you know, cats are good until they're not good, and then that, she just wasn't good. And then Zoe was only 10, and her passing took us sort of by surprise. She was fine, and then... And then again, she just really wasn't fine. So we lost all of our pets, and then um, we had no pets. And then last month, Jan in January, we got a new pet. We got a cat. Uh, he's uh, he's a he's a character. He's um, he's big. He's huge. He's like one year old, and he's massive. He's heavy. He's he's got longer fur. Um, I wish he would if he would show up I could show you what he looks like but he's really pretty um he's really nice coloring um he came with a name we adopted him from a shelter he came with a name and we did not like that name so we changed his name and after much deliberation we decided to name him Tybalt as in like Romeo and Juliet Tybalt because he's yeah he's he's like fierce and a kind of a little mean and very like <laughs> high and mighty He's like noble, and then um, it, well, and in the play they call Tybalt the Prince of Cats, and this Tib our Tybalt is very much prince. So um, Tybalt is his name, but we more often than not just call him Tibbs, because it's easier. And he also kind of looks like I don't know if you've watched the uh, the Disney the animated Disney Hundred and One Dalmatians, but he kind of looks like Sergeant Tibbs a little bit. So it just, everything worked. And he has kind of a dual personality. So when he's soft and fluffy and he's just nice and he's purring, he's Tibbs. And when he's ferocious and he likes to attack you for absolutely no reason, we call him Tibbled. So he's, we kind of got two cats, if that makes any sense. So future Megan cutting in really quick. Um, I'm editing the video and I'm, I'm at the part where I'm talking about the cat and I just wanted you to see This, I can't see his face. Come on, there he is. There he is. This is Tibbs. This is Tibble when he is very much being Tibbs. So he's just um, being cute and taking up a full hand. So that's the cat. <laughs> he's been great. He's been, uh, yeah, entertaining. Um, Ontario came out of lockdown. Um, I guess, you know, there was a thing in 2020 where everybody was not doing very well. And Ontario came in and out of different kinds of lockdowns. And then at the end of January, we went into a really serious lockdown because nobody listened to the don't get together with your family over Christmas rule. Um, I mean, we did. We were just, our bubble was up north just together by ourselves. So uh, Ontario went into lockdown in the end of January and we came out of lockdown I think on the 11th of February. 
think sometime, I don't know, mid-February. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I think our numbers are going up again. Uh, what are you going to do, I guess? that's I guess that's a life update. Um, thankfully, we've been pretty, pretty good. I don't want to say good. Uh, we've been lucky, I guess is the right word. So we've been lucky. Um, so thank, thanks. Um, oh, uh, when I was talking to you in 2019, I was working at a jewelry store. I was a retail clerk at our jewelry store. And now I'm a salary gal. Ugh. Big girl job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Any job is a big girl job. It's, um, it's harder -er in a different way. It's good. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. My mother and I actually work for the same company, so carpooling is easy. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's a smaller, like a family owned company. So it's, it's good. It's a good change. It gives me a more, um, steady schedule. So that's good. Okay. Enough about me. Let's talk about cross stitch because that's why we're all here. Um, for 2021, I am razor focused on four ish projects. So I'm stitching on four projects a month, every month. Um, two of them will be the same for the entire year, and then the other two will sort of rotate out at different times. You'll see what I mean. If you watched my January video, you already know. So I started the month by stitching the Cricut Collection monthlies. Last year, in 2020... No! <gasps> I do it every time. Every time I get so excited to just jump in and start talking about start talking about my um projects that I don't show you things that I need to show you <sighs> when I was talking to you in 2019 I um was stitching on the birthstone girls by soda stitches and I was finishing them individually so that I could rotate them out with my calendar so here is amethyst I just dropped it on the floor <laughs> it's fine here's amethyst oh this lighting is so much nicer look oh you can see her so much better she's better centered in the frame and but like look at this edge look at this nod edge no i have to fix it i know i do it's too the the base is too big i have to cut it so she's finished um she stitched on an ada a pink ada the the gemstone has a sparkly oh you can kind of see it in the darker I have a sparkly, like a blended filament in with the gemstone. Everything else is just normal charted DMC. She's cute. And then she's finished on, this is an acid-free sticky board. And then this is just like a little frame insert from Michaels. And then she just kind of sits on my desk underneath my calendar. Because I like to have multiple things that tell me what month it is. Okay. Now I'll show you the Cricut collection that I was stitching this month. I have like a leaning tower of projects over here. So if you hear a big crash, um, it's okay. <laughs> uh, this was the one that I, February, the Cricut collection. Um, I ordered all of the products for this. I, well, I'm stitching all 12 and I ordered all of the stuff for all of the projects way in advance and as I said in my January video, I wish I hadn't done that because I don't love the fabric that I'm stitching on and I, now I have to stitch on it 12 to, in 12, like t all 12 projects have the same fabric. It's just in different colors, so it's okay. So in 2022, I stitched the last three, I, I'm doing this backwards. I stitched the ARY in 2020 um, except this mailbox, I didn't have this, this teal color, so I stitched the mailbox this month and I finished the U. Did that even show up? It's hard to see. Anyway, I'll bring you in on the U because that's what we're focusing on. So it's cute. I like it. I like the, um, the color of the letters on this one. I think it, 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 it complements the fabric really nicely. I don't, I, I'm not a fan of Valentine's Day. Um, and it just seems that every February motif has hearts and stuff in it, which I mean, love is love. So like, it doesn't have to, I guess it doesn't have to be, 
I mean, I guess it is romantic love. It's the day of romantic love. So I'm trying to justify love by being like, it could be family love. It could be other kinds of love. It's it's just straight up love. But that's, I oh, it's stitched. Oh, it's stitched on a t 32 count Lugana. And this one is like a nice lavender color. I really like the color of this one. Um, it's pretty close to the... I actually think it's the the, uh, the recommended fabric from this one. Um, but yeah, that was February. I think I, I didn't stitch on it very long. I only stitched on it for a couple of days at the very beginning. I just wanted to get that letter in. I stitch on it on a loop. This is the only one that I stitch on this loop because one letter fits in the loop. You know what I mean? So, and this is my project bag. It's an Ipsy. Um, I used to be subscribed to the Ipsy makeup subscription, and this this was one of the February bags. Hello, perfect. So that's that's where I keep all of my floss. I'm a bagger. I used to bobbinate, but I just I don't have the time. I don't have the patience to bobbinate, so I don't. I put them in bags, and that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, oh, I should also say, the Cricut collection, I don't buy, a lot of the Cricuts have the same colors, and I don't buy, I didn't buy the same skein of floss, like, 12 times. I have a big Cricut collection, like, floss stash that I rotate through all the projects, because I don't have the money to buy <laughs> 12 skeins of the same, like, I think every one of them uses... 3865 or 3866 they're like off, it's like white and off-white every single one of them uses it I'm not buying 12 of those ridiculous after I finished that I I picked up stitching on my gecko rouge gecko rouge boho winter it is a full coverage piece designed by Sandra Vargas um she has four <laughs> She has four. She has four. Uh, one for each of the seasons. And I, being a completionist and loving series and seasons, bought all four. Um, happy birthday to me. <laughs> um, I bought the one, I bought the option where it's, I think it's one over one easy grid. Magic grid, easy grid. And last, in the last video, I was talking about how much I hate this. And I don't, I still don't love the way it feels, but I'm, I'm learning how this gridding matches up with the pattern and it's 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 I'm getting there <laughs> but yeah so it's it's actually smaller than I thought it would be um because these squares are 20 by 20 not 10 by 10 so when I <laughs> when I got the patterns and I was comparing the pattern to the fabric I was like oh no they sent me like there's no this this fabric's not even gonna fit half it's folded right now it's not even going to fit half of the pattern. Like, how do I do this? And then I checked all four and they were all the same size. And that's when I realized that these were 20 by 20, even though the pattern is 10 by 10. So I was like, okay. Um, let me show you what he's supposed to look like when he's done. Dun, 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 dun. So that's the Boho Winter. Isn't he cute? I love these. Like, I love, love this wing so cute so and this is all like all of the beige is stitching too so that's a lot of beige last month I had finished a full page of beige and it, listen if you're only stitching in one color it goes really really fast um the gecko oh, oh yeah look look at my orch jar <laughs> look at it oh they're little tiny, tiny, tiny mustard jars that I got at an art fair with mustard in it at the time. And like, they're perfect. So each of my um, projects has a little art jar. Look at, but you can see like, that's just all beige. That's just all beige. It's three different kinds of beige. Um, the Gecko Rouge patterns also come with this kind of floss thing. I, what are they called? Cards? Floss cards? And I'm pretty, it's DMC, but it's like they renumbered it. So I don't know. Um, and they're also, like when you first get it and you pull a color off, it's all what like it's one long, like this huge chunk of color is one long continuous piece of floss. So whenever I come across a new color, I just kind of 
take it all off and cut them all to a decent size and then put them all back on so eventually I won't have to worry about cutting things down to size but um, it's stitched oh, it even tells you DMC A to fabric 25 count I'm stitching one over one um, yeah it's tiny it's tiny Woof. And I mean, I'm doing a hate at the same time, and the hate is also tiny. But it's just, it's a lot of, I didn't even show you. <laughs> there's this and there's this, but I didn't even show you the pattern. Okay, so here we are. Ooh, beige, beige, beige. So when you saw it last, I think it was here. I think this is the page. This line here is a page. So since then, I've stitched all of this. And look, ooh, blue. I got the teeny, the teeny tiny tippiest tip of his ear. And I have the matching needle minder. And I have this little sleepy owl because he's really cute. Um, for this one, I decided to try that thing where everybody goes like diagonal. Because on my head, I stitch it like row by row. So I'm trying it diagonally for this. And it makes sense to me for when it's like a color like this. Oh, look at that. You can see the... You. We're going to have to be really creative on how I frame it. Um, it makes sense, sorry, it makes sense to me when it's one, really like one color and you can go diagonally, but once I get into the owl, I think that's just going to be too complicated. I'll probably revert back to like back and forth. I don't know, we'll see. But that's, that's where I am with the winter owl. <laughs> I'm a page and a half finished. Oh, see, and like you can see this little snowflake. It's cute. It's 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 cute. It's a lot of fun. The fabric's a little stiff, but um, you know, and it's a lot of beige. But I, when it's done, it's gonna be so cute. So that's just what I'm telling myself. Um, this is actually gonna go away now because March, spring starts in March. So this has to go away until like November. Oh. I finally get some color <laughs> and then he has to go away for it, like, <laughs> sucks. Ugh, is that just it? You make progress, you get to a goal, then everything gets put on hold. I have nobody to blame but myself. That is my choice completely. Um, I have this, I have these little project bags that I got from the dollar store. They're not really project bags. I, I, I think they're like portfolio, like art portfolio bags and I have, I have a black one, but my other hate is in it, and I don't want to... If I put that hate away, like, out of my eyesight, I know I won't stitch it, and I do want to stitch it at some point. Um, so that's Gecko Winter. Nope, that's Gecko Rouge's Boho Winter, designed by Sandra Vargas. She's got, she's actually got quite a few. Um, I bought all the owls, but I think she's got a Cheshire Cat in there that I would love to stitch one day. After I finished the Gecko Rouge stay, I moved on to the Tiny Modernist Zodiac Sampler Sal? Zodiac Sal? Zodiac Stitch Along Sampler? <laughs> you know, everybody, you know what it looks like. Um, when I had planned out my 2021 projects, I actually had another. Uh, another fourth project. I was gonna stitch the Grimm fairy tales that Clouds Factory released last year. I was gonna dye my own fabric and it was gonna be great. And then Tiny Modernist threw it all off. Thanks, Cheryl. <sighs> it's okay, I'm not complaining. So I don't have this in a bag. I just have it in a little zippy because I, I have to buy another one. They're still at the dollar store. Um, so she released Pisces this month, oh, this fabric. I, fa I bought I bought fabric, and I think I bought too big of fabric. Where's Pisces? Da -da. I love the. And you know what's funny is I was stitching. I was I was pounding out Pisces because I lost track of time. I was too busy stitching Kiko Rouge, and I want to try and I like I always want to try and finish the sign before the actual sign begins. So I was stitching like a fiend before Pisces started and I was watching Aquaman and I realized, oh my god, I'm stitching fish whilst watching fish. I like it. It's very, um, it's very like, 
yin yangy. It's really pretty. I wish my fabric was just a just a tinge darker because you can't really see the the um the writing and then the Aquarius is over here and I have the next circle ready to rock. I'm ready for Aries. Bring it on. This is the needle miner that I have. He has nothing to do with Zodiac, but he's the little caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. So I just I had him, so I just put him on there. But yeah. There you go. You know when you get you know when you get a map or like a pamphlet or something and it's crisp and it's nicely folded and then you unfold it to look inside it or to you know look at the map and then you go and try and fold it back up again and you for some reason you don't you're incapable of following the crease lines and then it just looks just looks like a mess no just me yeah I do that every time I'm, I'm incapable of folding stuff back in the in the way I got it in this is the project bag that I'm using for this cute right <laughs> And the other thing I'll say about this Tiny Modernist one is she's she has a very minimal palette, which I think is is very interesting. I think she has like no, maybe twelve maybe twelve colors. I'm and I'm really liking it because all of my other projects are so color heavy that it's kind of nice to just have this easy, simple, you know, minimal palette, but still beautiful piece so that is the zodiac sampler there there the final project that i stitched on in jan february was the june blooms heaven and earth design by margaret morales i have never fallen in love so hard with a pattern, the way I fell in love with this pattern. They released it on their Instagram in June of last year, and oh, like I saw it, and like all of the radio love songs like all made sense. It was the one for me. It was the one for me. So I decided that I was gonna do a, it was gonna be my birthday start last year, and it was. <laughs> and it's so pretty, June blooms. Maybe I'll put in a full photo of it. But here, ugh, ugh, so pretty. Uh, I'm sorry it's on the snap. It's I it like it. It's all the way over here too. Ugh, I just love it so much. It's a lot of green, and I'm not a fan of green. But the it's fine. The colors of the flower petals. Gosh, and there's a girl over here, and she's so pretty. Urg. So this, this is page one. So all of this and over is one page and then I'm almost done. The second page, I will probably have a second page finish by the time I see you guys next. <laughs> Look at it now. And then I just have just random little um, needle miners on here. It's on a lap, uh, lap cue snap. So you snap it in and then it's like a lap. It sits on your lap. It's really nice. My mother bought it for me for my birthday and I I, I love it. Um, the And the fabric... Okay, so when I was picking out stuff for this, I thought the, the first hay that I got, I got the Easy Grid. And I don't like the Easy Grid, as we know. And then the second one that I got, I, it, I think it's another like stiff white fabric. So when I was picking out fabric for this one, I, I went to my LNS and I was like, I just, I want something soft and buttery. And then the lady was like, well, why would you waste your money on fabric that's going to be covered up? And I was like, ma'am, this, pa this pattern is like 87 pages long. It, it, the amount, I'm probably going to be seeing fabric for longer than I'm going to be seeing the finished product. So the fabric is actually really really nice it stitches really really nicely and I honestly I think that's one of the reasons why I'm doing really well on this is because I like the feel of the fabric it's like really soft and buttery um it's all stitched in DMC all of my project projects are all DMC um but oh look at it oh 
You can see, <laughs> look, you can see my threads. Ooh, the back is kind of a disaster too. I was, uh, yeah, this is the one I'm stitching like this. And uh, obviously I'm parking. Parking. It, and the nice thing about this one is that it's, it is confetti heavy, but there's chunks where it's just one color and it's so, ugh, ugh. It's my soulmate. I love it so much. So that's, that's that. Those are all of the projects that I stitched on. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. I stitched on in February. Four. Exciting. Um, my plans for March are the same. <laughs> I will stitch on the March Cricut collection. I don't even know where I am on that one. I think I did three letters. So some of them will be finished much sooner than the other ones. Well, although I still think my goal for 2022 is gonna to be to finish them all, or at least finish stitching them all. Um, so I'm gonna stitch on March, and then I'm gonna stitch the Aries release for the Zodiac Sal, and then I'm gonna start Gecko Rouge Spring. <sighs> I'm really excited about that one because I'm pretty sure that's the one that has a pink background, not a beige background. The other three all have beige. So it'll be nice to kind of have a break and stitch soft pink for 47 pages. Um, and then I'll finish March off again by stitching on the June blooms. Yeah, hopefully I'll get out a little bit more in March. Um, we have a cottage up north. Uh, so... I haven't, I have not been up to the cottage since we went in lockdown in January, so I'm itching to go up to the cottage. I also have a project that I would like to start, a secret, top secret, fifth project. It's a gift, but I, I don't even know if I'll get it done. Arr. It's small. Never mind. I'm not going to talk about it. It's a secret. Uh, those are my plans. Yeah, those are my plans. I'm already thinking about what I do, what I want to do in 2022 too because I'm I'm just like that um but yeah that's everything um thank you for tuning in thank you for spending 27 minutes with me 26 27 minutes with me in a nicer nicely lit I like this lighting better it's really pretty you can you can like hey you can see the trees and stuff in the background hey there's still snow on the ground I don't even know if I can Snow. There. Snow. So, hopefully it melts a little bit over the next couple. Of, I don't mind snow, but I'm just, I'm, I'm ready for spring. Great. So, uh, happy February. Happy March. Hope you guys all have a great March. Hopefully I'll see you in March. Yeah, you never know. With me. Um, happy birthday to all the Pisces. Happy birthday to all the upcoming Aries. Zzz. 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 And, uh, yeah. Have, um... Have a good time. <laughs> Thanks.